New information from Wakadak Tesh suggests that NVIDIA is preparing to release two models in its upcoming GeForce RT X5060 series. These GPUs are expected to follow the same model structure as the current generation, which means there will be multiple SKUs in the series. This brings the number of known SKUs in the upcoming Blackwell GPU series to six, further expanding NVIDIA's offerings. Both the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti are reportedly going to use the same reference board, known as PGON 152. Both cards will likely feature the 206GB GPU. Specific details about the number of CUD core haven't been confirmed yet. While there is still a lot to be clarified, one of the most significant changes will be in memory specifications. The biggest upgrade here comes in the form of memory speed. The RTX 5060 Ti is expected to come with 16GB of GDDR7 memory, a substantial increase over previous models. In contrast, the RTX 5060 will continue to feature 8GB of GDDR7 memory. Both cards will use a 128-bit memory bus, which is similar to what we saw in the previous generation, but the key difference lies in the memory speed. Although it may disappoint some users that the RTX 5060 will stick to just 8GB memory, there is an upside. The introduction of GDDR7 memory technology will bring significant improvements in bandwidth. According to the latest information, the RTX 5060's memory bandwidth is expected to increase by 65% over the RTX 4060, reaching an impressive 448GB. This will help offset some of the limitations of the lower VRAM. One of the most debated aspects of the upcoming RTX 5060 series is NVIDIA's decision to stick with 8 GB of VRAM RTX 5060. This decision may not sit well with all gamers, especially those looking to game at higher resolutions like 1440 pp. In comparison, competitors like Intel's Arc B580 graphics cards have opted for more VRAM in their mid-range offerings leading many to question if NVIDIA is keeping up with current market expectation. However, it's important to remember that these are still early rumors, and specifications could change before the official release. NVIDIA could potentially opt to increase the VRAM or even change the memory bus to a 96-bit configuration to support a higher VRAM capacity, possibly going up to 10 GB if the market demands it. For now, we'll have to wait for more details to see how NVIDIA responds to this growing concern. Both the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti are expected to use the Blackwell architecture, which is NVIDIA's next-gen GPU design. This architecture is rumored to bring significant performance improvements over the current Amper-based GPUs. While specific details about CUD core counts and clock speeds remain unclear, it is expected that these new GPUs will be faster than their predecessors. The clock speeds on these new GPUs are expected to be higher than the previous generation, which should contribute to overall better performance. Although the exact numbers haven't been confirmed, sources suggest that the RTX 5060T I could come with improved boost clocks possibly hitting speeds similar to the RTX 4060 Ti's 2.5 gigabits per second boost clock. While the amount of VRAM is one of the main talking points, another important factor is the memory speed. The RTX 5060 Ti will feature 16 gigabyte of GDDR7 memory, which will operate at speeds of 28 gigabits per second. This will provide a significant increase in performance compared to the previous generation of RTX cards, with bandwidth reaching 448 GB slash S. For the RTX 5060, the memory speed will be slightly lower, but it will still see a major improvement in bandwidth compared to the RTX 4060 with around 448 GB of memory bandwidth. Memory speed improvements are crucial for gaming performance, 
especially at higher resolutions and settings. The higher bandwidth will allow these new GPUs to handle larger textures and more complex game environments with ease. The increased memory speed should help the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti deliver smoother gaming experiences, particularly for demanding titles. As of now, we don't have specific details on the TDP of these GPUs, but it's expected that both the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti will fall within similar power consumption ranges as their predecessors. The new generation of GPUs may see improvements in power efficiency thanks to the Blackwell architecture, which would help maintain performance while keeping power consumption in check. Both the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti are expected to adhere to PCI 5.0 specifications, ensuring fast data transfer speeds. This will be an important feature for users looking to upgrade their systems, as CA 5.0 is becoming more common in high-end motherboards. Pricing for the RTX 5060 and 5060 Ti is still uncertain, but it's expected that these cards will launch in the late Q1 of 2025. This timing puts them in direct competition with AMD's next-generation GPUs, and NVIDIA will likely aim to keep the pricing competitive. For reference, the RTX 4060 series starts at around $299 for the base models, with higher-end variants reaching up to $499. The RTX 5060 will likely be priced somewhere in the lower $300 range, while the RTX 5060 Ti with 16 GB of VRAM may carry a higher price tag, potentially in the $350-$400 range. Keep in mind that these are rough estimates and could change closer to the official release. With the RTX 4060 and 4060 T, I expected to launch in early 2025. It's clear that NVIDIA is preparing for a competitive showdown with AMD in the mid-range GPU market. As always, the final performance and pricing details will be crucial. But for now, the RTX 4060 series looks like it will be a solid choice for gamers, looking for a balance between performance and price. So what do you think? Are you excited about the upcoming 50 series GPUs? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching.